Right, I am celebrating. What are you celebrating? What am I celebrating? I'm celebrating that the owners of Fraser on Fraser say it's okay to drink champagne in a wine glass. But we talked about that before. <laughs> we did, but I thought I'd really celebrate it one more time. <laughs> I might be celebrating again tomorrow. Come on, what are we having today? Oh, you know, it's so good. <laughs> He's tormenting everyone who doesn't have one. So what I'm doing today, mm. I saw something that Marcus Waring did. Marcus Waring, I, I love nice what Marcus Waring does. Here. Yeah. He did such a simple dish, but a nice 70s dish. So I'm going back to my time, or an 80s dish. And we're gonna do roast chicken thighs. I'm gonna start them on the stove, stick them in the oven. Okay. And then we're gonna do a, a, a lovely, a creamy sauce. About time you did a creamy sauce, I haven't done one for a while, with a little bit of a twist. Onions, mushrooms, garlic, French mustard, some tarragon, some beautiful herbs out in the garden. I'm gonna add some herbs, more herbs to this. And then I've got some chives for later. Some tarragon we're gonna put in the in the sauce, but I don't have any fresh tarragon. Sorry, Dad. No, it's not sorry, it's just... But what we are going to do, mm. instead of spinach, I've got some lovely chard here, some golden chard and some you red chard. Which we're gonna stuff. Which we're gonna finish off, so. Shall we start? Let's do it. Let's do it, okay. Okay, darling. Okay, Des, what do we got here? So, we are going to firstly season these chicken thighs. So you've got your oil ready to go. And also, one of the things I didn't tell you, which makes this dish a very sort of 70s, 80s, 90s, 90s dish. 70s, is, 80s, 90s, just well, covering three decades there. <laughs> the thing is, you could, depends when you decide you're going to do it. But, so we're going to put some that cognac, okay. pardon me, and we're going to put some uh, prefuse, actually perfume. So, some white I wine. I always call it perfume. Some white wine. White wine, yeah, so, exactly. Shall we just, okay. Yeah, lots of... Uh, loads of seasoning, lovely Loads of seasoning. seasoning. Put the chicken thighs. I'm going to put some garlic in, but I want to infuse some garlic. Okay. Bear in mind we're going to pick these out. So I'm actually going to put some garlic in there. I'm actually going to just break that garlic in there. Look. I'm not worried about all the bits, because we're going to get all this You're out. You're going to take it out? No. Nope. Okay. Now the other thing I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to... Get I want your... lots of herbs on here. So loads of herbs. I want lots of herbs on here. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, when this is done, I'm literally going to put this in the oven. I don't need to seal it all over. I'm just going to put this oh. all in the oven. Oh, you're gonna, not going to do the other side? No, I'm just going to put it all in the oven. How? Outrageous. And it's going to so just, just cook So just cooking through. one side? Yeah, well, you're going to cook. We're going to roast it. I know, but just sealing one side. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tell you what we're doing, because this has gone hell out later. Yeah, I feel like I want it flipped. You want it, okay? Let's do it. Look at that. That's all better than You feel better, alright? If you're roasting it, when you think about it. I know, but it's nice to do for me. Yeah. If you're roasting it, it doesn't really matter. I think everyone's very grateful to me for stepping on right now. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm a lot happier. Good. I'm happy with those bits of garlic in there. Yummy. So you're going to pick those bits out. So once you... Once all done, we're going once to Once it goes in the oven, how, after it's been in for a bit? When, when, when we're ready to take it out, yep, you'll you're going to see. There's out. a few things I've got to do in a minute. So we're just going to get this in. We're going to put Sorry, we've some got some rosemary. Rosemary. It's sort of a roast chicken. I've got thyme. some oregano. Oregano. Yep. Loads of thyme. Oh, we have loads of thyme, don't we, oh, Jazz? Oh, darling. Yeah. Loads of thyme. Lovely, lovely. Some bay leaves. Oh, they're very fresh bay leaves. They're very fresh. Very fresh. 
And I think that's about it really. I might put another bit of rosemary on there. Why not? Look at that. that Why one? not indeed? And, Lovely. And now, one secret ingredient. But if this is the bowl I bought from Home Sense, isn't it the cutest? Okay, what's the secret, babe? That's, I love it. Does is like, this is the secret. A bit of butter is no secret. Anyone who follows you, my love. And so all this is just gonna just infuse itself in the oven and we're gonna roast it for probably about 35 minutes or so. Yep. I'm just mm. gonna roast it in the pan. So you're just letting, okay, just in the pan with that butter. And then it'll all colour beautifully. All colour, yeah. butter. I'm just going to let that butter roll around. Okay, Dazzy. Isn't that a pretty dish? Isn't that a pretty dish? Look at your pretty little outfit today. Ah, my birthday shoes. Your ones and twos. Another birthday pair. I've got birthday shoes and Christmas shoes. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of shoes. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, darling. What are you going to do? I'm just going to put... Dazzler my... had just whipped it off the pod. I know, and I just realised. And it. then he threw it in I said no let's just see that so he's literally just taking it straight off and putting it in the oven about 35 minutes okay. I reckon but again you know we can we, we can, can check we, can we, we can want jump. color we color we want color okay, okay. Have you seen him out? okay look, look at my little Julio hi Julio oh he's got a little bit of onion right. on the end of his nose so what we're going to do okay. in here we're going to start your sauce onions okay. in here we're just going to do some more. So while our chicken is roasting in the oven, yep, we're putting do, a, some do a few more mushies. Got some pre done there. Got some lovely asparagus. And the asparagus, some chopped we're onions. just going to. Is this going to be for dinner tonight, my love? It is. And the okay. asparagus. And it's going to go over here. Is going to go on yeah. its own, on and we're going to put it on the top. top. So over here, we're going to put some olive oil in here. Yep. And some olive oil in here. Again. Okay. And I'm going to put some of this gorgeous olive oil in here. So well. you're mixing, so you're using I some I know, posh, this is that really green one. Posh olive oil, some green. I know, well I want to put the beautiful olive oil for the, for the asparagus. Okay. And okay. what we're going to do with the asparagus is we're just going to um, just literally pan fry it. Okay, so just not steaming the asparagus. No, we're just going to pan, pan fry. fry it. Okay, and all I've done here is I've gone up the stem and just done it angle, but I've gone up the stem so you can, you know, you could peel that bit if you want to, but it's it's fine. The 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 mainly the, the tip. You've used mainly the tip. Yeah, the, the, the when it gets a bit carb woody. Yeah, at the bottom. Is at the bottom. <clears throat> and then here we start with onions. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to start with onions. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make a really nice sauce, which is going to be the classic sort of creamy, creamy sauce. Yep. And then we're going to put our thighs on top of it once they've come out of the oven, beautifully cooked. Yep. That's why I say we're going to pick the thighs out. Yep. All of that that's around it yes. doesn't matter at the moment. Because you're going to pick the thighs it. out and then There's pop it on here. Oh, fine. Really yep. Matter. Okay. Bits of garlic. Garlic. Okay, so you're going to cook this for a few minutes. And in here, we're going to start these over here. We're just going to burst right, you know, we don't want to yeah. overdo. Okay, and then you're going to hold them, are you, put them inside? Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to start them off now. I'm going to pull them off. Pull them off. And then we'll just, when they're ready to go, what we're going to do is now put a bit of seasoning on those. Yes, always pulling out that flavour with that seasoning. Pepper on there, which is nice. Yummy. Look at that, they're beautiful. It's gorgeous. I just love seeing food. I've been sort of doing, you know, I've been doing it so long, guys. Yeah, I've been. I know, I know, I know. You've been cooking for a long time. I know it's our well. tenth wedding anniversary, very soon. Yes. And, but I, I, somebody asked me the other day, when did I start? 1980. I opened my first restaurant. 1980. I don't even want to ask how old you were. I was seven. Right, well, <laughs> thank God I was only 12. What I was a thought. Young what a thought. <laughs> Right, so, so like, did you used to make this in any of your This dish, but it's all Not, very similar. They're, yeah, yeah. So in very those, classic French cooking. In those, in those days, you had a saucier, chef saucier, and then you had a chef on the fish, and then so you like had the a sauce, chef. The sauce chef. Yeah, the sauce chef, and the fish chef, and the grilled chef, and the, the pastry chef, and all of the chefs all the way around. But we had all different chefs, so um, things And you did everything. Well, when I started my first restaurant, I had the three of us in the kitchen. We had 45 seats, so I did it pretty much did everything. Mm. And I managed to have a glass of champagne. Of course you did, though. 
So how long are we going to cook the onions okay. for? Okay, um, I'm going to put the onions out, then I'm going to put the mushrooms then in. Then you're going to add the mushrooms. And then you can cut, sort of cut, come back cut in back a minute. When okay. Ready. But we're going to reduce down because we're going to add some more things in. So if I just move you back a yeah. Because what we want to do is we now want to do a little flambe. Okay. What we want is some brandy. Just be careful. Okay, a bit of brandy. Catch. Oh, there it goes. We've always got a catch. So we want that there. Now what am I doing now? I'm putting the uh, cognac in, but I'm burning off the alcohol. Okay. So you see all that is coming off. So now can you see how that's condensed and gone completely in there? You imagine the flavours there. So now what we do, we add some wine. So we want to reduce this before we add our cream. Okay. From adding some wine. Remember that you add cognac if you're flambéing in a little jug. You do not pour it out the bottle. Out of the bottle, because it all unlikely does. So I'm putting some Dijon in here. So, oh, you jumped ahead. No. We did, we didn't even do the mushrooms. Oh no, I said I was going to, are you, are you filming? Yes. <laughs> so. So no, I said I'd put the mushrooms and onions in. Oh, so okay. I just soak it down. Okay. Soak it down the onions and mushrooms, but that's fine. Well, no, we've mixed this up. All right, okay. So there's, um, okay, so you, you did the onions for a few minutes, then you added the mushrooms. Yep. Another couple of minutes, did you add any more butter no. or anything? No? no. Okay. Just, just. And now you've added, what, a couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard? Yeah, Dijon, Dijon mustard, yeah. Yeah, I might actually add a bit more. Okay, sorry about that team, just <laughs> got to really keep quite a, the close eye. And in the meantime, your um, asparagus beers have been cooking and Love. they were not steamed at all, you just cooked them in olive oil. Just olive oil, look, aren't they beautiful? Very beautiful. So we're going to leave them there because I can finish those off the moment the chicken's cooking. Yep, and now it's I... in the oven for 15 minutes, 10 or 10 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Okay, so how much longer will this cook for? Uh, this. Okay, Dazla. So, we're ready for. So, have you cooking been cooking out. this? It has. Well, I pulled it. I pulled it oh, off. I pulled the, it off. Uh, pulled it off. Oh, by the way, look. My asparagus is ready now. You see, it's going to be cooked through and crunchy. Okay. Not as crunchy, but you know. So now we're going to add some cream. Yeah. Anything with cream. Wow. Look at thighs. Anything with cream. So now what we do with this is we cook that out, reduce it down. And then we're going to add a few chives, and then we're going to put our chard in. Could be spinach, but we're going to use chard. Into that sauce. Into the sauce. But okay. only just before we serve. Do you want All to have a quick look at the, yeah, do. At the chicken breast? The chicken thighs? Oh, wow. See? Yum. So they're all, and there's a, there'll be some liquid in there that I want. For that. Just a little bit of liquid to really finish that. all those herbs. Can you imagine? Can't wait. We'll come so, back, Daz. Come back. Right, so okay, now, so you then do the brandy first, or the cognac first. Yeah, okay, you flambe, get the alcohol first, off. Get the alcohol off, then you add the, uh, the wine. Yeah, and the reason that you... Actually, it's starting to look quite creamy. It's creamy, creamy because the, alcohol, the, 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 the olive oil and all the caramelisation... And the butter. Is, well, uh, and a little bit of butter. I had no butter in did there. You, no, you didn't put butter, did you? didn't put butter in there. No, no. sorry, you didn't. So, and now it's all coming together. And as you say, it looks creamy, but there's no cream in there. Interesting. The reason that you uh, burn off the alcohol yeah. is that if you don't and you just use neat cognac or brandy, mm. it's going to be a bit powerful because it's like, you know, you're putting it in. Yeah. Once you burn off the alcohol, you've just got the flavour. I don't want everyone to burn the houses down, but that's why you do it. Okay. Right. So now, and how long do we leave this to cook for? So we're now so. cooking out a little bit now, just to really get flavour. So now I'm doing a bit of chicken yep. stock. Yeah. And then this will be pretty much my my. I'm going to reduce this, and then I'm going to stop because I want to wait for my chicken. Chicken to catch up. Then mm. I'll add my cream. Yeah. Then I'll add my tarragon. Yes. Fact, I'm going to put some tarragon in a minute. Okay. And then I'll finish with that. So let's put some chart. tarragon in there. Yeah. Now we don't have fresh tarragon, otherwise that would have gone in by right now. It's, um, hmm. Which way do I go? This way? That way? Yeah, you gotta take that off. You gotta unscrew that. Yeah, unscrew that it? Way. Yeah, just unscrew it. Just pour it in. Oh, I think we have a two. Oh, here we are. That's the way. Yeah. Right. That's right. So let's put some tarragon. Okay. 
Yeah. I think that's it. Wow. Yeah. But if we have our if we have fresh tarragon, we're going to get that. We're going to get a, 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 a sort of greener consistency. Yeah. But anyway, that's going to give what we want out of it. Okay. It's going to go on a beautiful plate, and then we're going to put the yeah. the thighs on top, asparagus on top. Hey, so are you not going to mix that in? You're just going to put it on top. Put it on top, we're going to put our chicken on top. We can okay. just we can do family service How fabulous. with a beautiful cream sauce underneath. Yum. Lovely. So it does. So I'm bringing this out. Pulling yeah. out. Putting this out here. Now, a little tip here: whenever you take a pan out of the oven, leave that on there, because mm -hmm. otherwise you go and walk away, and the kids come in and they're going to pick up the pan and they go, oh. Right, so I'm going to take these thighs right. out so of here. Just, okay. I'm going to take them out. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? Very pretty. And you see all of this. Now I want to just get a bit of that juice. That's so nice. you do want some of the juice? I want, I want, I want some of it, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So what I thought I'd do it's just, there's not a lot of juice left. You're going to put it on the plate? No, 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 I'm going to put it on Oh, here. I don't want a little bit, so I only want a little bit. And then that. Okay, so there's your juice. Wow, that that's a lot. Oh, no, that's okay. Yum. That residue's going to go in there. Yep, lovely. There's flavours in there. I think I could put. Here's where we're plating up. Yeah. Do you want... Three or do you want all of those on there? I think you probably could put all of them on there. Right? You could put them all on. Yeah, we'll have this because they're quite small now. So you're going to make this family style. Yeah, family style. So what we're going to do, Don? I'm just going to put a dash of white wine in there. Okay. Just because. Just to finish it off, are you? Well, just. I mean, I'm reducing it. I could put water in. <laughs> okay. I could put stock wine. in, but I thought I'd put wine in. Okay, good idea. Okay. So just you. really wine. fire that up now. Get a bit of heat going. Yep. Right. Delicious. Our asparagus is ready yep. and hot. Put some chard in here. So Maybe literally just, a, you just it, want to wilt it. It's going to wilt it down. You watch. You watch. Yep. Stir that in. Stir that in. Just to a point of where we want it. Thank you, Marcus Waring, for this. It's a lovely little idea. Yeah. I think. Very that's classic. It. It's always the classics. Oh, isn't it you know, wonderful? That's great, does he? Okay, so we're going to put that in here. Oh, wow, okay. Put that in Straight there. on. Doesn't that look nice with that sort of caramel plate? Doesn't that plate? Where did that plate come from, baby? It's a um, Royal Crown Derby. So wow. nice. Wow. Now we're going okay. to put these on. So we're serving it all up, sort of like family yeah. style. I reckon, what do you reckon? I mean, I'm going to have. Pop them, all, pop them all on. If Annalise was here, she'd this year the lot. Wow. I have to say. Now we've got these. Okay. So where do they then go? Well, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use yep. my finger. We're just going to place those around. Yum. Put that up that way. What should we put them up? Anyway, Don't fiddle with it too much, does he? Okay, Just anyway, nice and natural. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Hang on, and then a bit of chive, a few little chives around, just around Gorgeous. there. And I've got a couple of chive flowers. Why don't we have Very a chive pretty. flower? Look at that, one chive flower. Gorgeous. And there. I am loving that. What do you reckon? Dazz looks amazing. Okay, lots of love to everybody. Speak soon. Happy. Well done, Dazzler. Whatever it looks day. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Can't wait.